Introduction to Translation Remarks and exercises on each of the parts of speech. First, the article. What is called the indefinite article, this is the word a or a or an, which means one, is understood as in sefer, a book, sefer, or nesher, nesher, an eagle. So we don't bother with the word for an or one. The definite article, however, is expressed by the following prefix to the noun. And there's some rules about this. Ha, followed by dagesh. And it's um, before these letters, alef, he, chet, rein, and resh, so ahahangr, ahahangr, the gutturals and the resh, it changes to either with the comets or with the um, serre here, not the patach. For example, melech, melech, remembering the accents on the first syllable because it's two of these, melech. And now we have a doubled consonant here, ham melech, ham melech, the king. Har is mountain, and ha har, ha har. We don't double this one because it's already um, a guttural sound or a strong sound. Um, instead, we strengthen the uh, the vowel that comes before it. Ha har, and this increases the length of a syllable. Ha har. Nganan, nganan, henganan, henganan. The cloud. Henganan, nganan, henganan. Translate the following words. I'm going to read it out to you and then pause a bit and then translate it. The basic um, word has been translated for you underneath. So, hak kohen, hak kohen. The priest, hak kohen, hak kol, hak kol. The voice, which is kol, hak kol. Ham Mizbeach, Ham Mizbeach. The altar, the altar, and Mizbeach is the altar. Hayyom, Hayyom. The day, Yom is day, Hayyom, the day. So let's run through this again. Hak Kohen, Hak Kol, Ham Mizbeach, Hayyom. And in modern Hebrew, this doubling of the consonant after the ha has disappeared. And so what should be a closed syllable in modern Hebrew has become an open syllable. And the modern Israeli will say ha kohen, not hak kohen. They'll say hakol, not hak kol. Not, I'll say ham isbeach, not ham misbeach. They'll say hayom, not hayom. But in the Spanish and Portuguese, um, certainly as it was in the days of Seabag, who was a reader at Bevis Mark Synagogue, um, it was done this way. Hak Kohen, Hak Kol, Ham Mizbeach, Hai Yom. And this is certainly the intention of the Masoretes, who put these uh, points into the words to indicate pronunciation. Now you have been asked to um, prefix the article to the following words. So here we have the word ner, which means lamp. And so it becomes han ner, han ner. Here we have the word lib, which means heart. And so it becomes hal lib, hal lib. Here we have Laila, Laila, which means night. And so we have Hal Laila, Hal Laila. This word begins with an Aleph, which is one of our Ahahangr words. And so instead of doubling the Aleph, we lengthen the first syllable. Ha Eben, Ha Eben.
and of course the accents here ibn not ibn ha ibn same again alif so we lengthen the first syllable and don't double this one ha ish ha ish da bar da bar means word had da bar had da bar sefer sefer is a book has sefer has sefer now khatser khatser is a courtyard and so we have he khatser he khatser khacham khacham is a scholar or a wise man khacham he khacham he khacham so note that he um, has the same rule here as ayn up above here he khanan he khacham 